Hello, you guys. So good to see you. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy to be here with you guys today. Wow, there's already hundreds of people here. How are you guys doing? How's it going, you guys? It's so good to see your face. I know, right? We're processing 2020. It's already 2021, and we have three months left. We have one quarter left. So my name is Yuri Choi, you guys. I'm so glad that you guys are here with me today. And um, yeah, today I have a really special workshop ready for you, and um, we'll talk about how to really plan for the rest of the year, as well as you know some of the affirmations that's going to really help us. So um, how are you guys doing? So let me check in with everybody here. Um, where are you guys logging in from? I would love to know where you guys are logging in from. And I want to let you guess where I am today. So um, for those of you guys who remember, last time I was on here about a month ago, I was in Seoul, Korea. And today I'm in a different place. So if you guys can guess, let me know. But also tell me where you guys are logging in from. Would love to hear from you. Amazing, amazing. America, yes, yes, yes. Okay, Louisiana, Poland. Oh my God, that's amazing, you guys. Love it, love it, love it. I'm looking at all these comments today. It's so cool that I get to speak with you guys both on YouTube as well as Facebook today. I love this community so much. And by the way, you guys, you are here right now on Psych2Go, which is the largest online mental health YouTube channel and a magazine in the world. This is a really special community where we all get to come together for one mission um, and really to learn more about ourselves, to eliminate stigma around mental health um, conditions, as well as to grow together so that we can cultivate a mindset on uh, mental health that really serves us as we all get to grow together. So Spain, Germany, New Zealand, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. The Philippines, Wow. Do you guys see this? There's already 600 people that just joined from all around the world. How do you think it's the best way to deal with anxiety? Okay. So I love that you guys have some of these questions coming. We will definitely go through some of these questions today. There's a ton of people from India, Turkey, Venezuela, Canada, Puerto Rico. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Brazil, Greece. Do you guys see this? This is incredible. This is incredible. So um, I will let you guys guess where I'm at today. I'll take a few guesses. So like I said, I was in, I was in um, Seoul, Korea for the last year. And now I'm somewhere else in the world. You guys are in Russia, Chile. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Yes, yes, yes. So today I'm actually logging in from California. So I don't know if any of you guys are logging in from California as well. <laughs> You're in Japan. Actually, that, that would have been really cool, right? That would have been really, really cool. But um, today I'm logging in from the sunny California. It's super good to be back here. Um, and yeah, so this is where I was before I lived in Korea. So it's really, really awesome being back here. Yes. Oh, thank you for reposting some of my videos, Marcus. That's really sweet. Um, and by the way, you guys, so um, I am uh, the uh, guest speaker here today, and I'll be leading this workshop. I am a performance coach for entrepreneurs and um, high achievers, and I typically work on mindset, confidence, language patterns, emotional mastery, and really um, helping people reach their goals as well as living a life that they get to get excited about. I'm really passionate about um, people living a really joyful, deeply grateful life. So we'll go into some of that today. Um, and before we all get started, let's start with this. If you guys have ever joined one of my lives before, you know that I always start with this, which is what are you grateful for today? I want to know, take a moment here, place your hands on your heart, or maybe your belly, wherever feels good. Take a moment and take a deep inhale in. And exhale. Exhale. 
Another deep, deep inhale in. And exhale. Let's take another deep inhale in. And exhale. Okay, you guys, this is awesome because we all just took three powerful breaths together from all over the world, grounding in, anchoring in together to this energy. And I don't know about you, but that is already making me feel amazing, even more at you know um, ease, and it feels really good. So for now, please share with me, what are you grateful for today? Let's set the tone of abundance. Let's set the tone of gratitude right now, right here. So for me today, I am so grateful to be here with you guys. This community is like no other. Psych2Go and the team here, they work their butts off so that you guys can have this community, so you guys can learn more about yourself. You guys can grow, and I'm just so honored to be here. We are actually headed towards 8 million subscribers, so feel free to share any of the videos, um, whether it's this video or any of the other videos that's really resonated with you, and spread this awareness, spread this love, spread this mission so that we can really help more people. I'm also grateful for every single one of you guys because this community would not be happening if you guys weren't here today, right now. Like, how special is it? How often can we say we get to be online at the same time with the same mission, doing the same thing, breathing together, setting the intention of abundance and gratitude together from all over the world? Hundreds of people and hundreds and thousands of people who are going to watch this afterwards, right? So it's a really, really special moment right here. Oh, I'm grateful that you're alive too. I'm grateful for you guys. I'm grateful for, yes, every day is a blessing. Absolutely. You're grateful for your health because you've been sick and now you appreciate it more. Absolutely. You're grateful for your friends. You're grateful for um, sleep. (laughs) I love this. Oh, that's really sweet. I'm grateful for, um, Purva said, I'm grateful for my mom and dad working so hard for the family. I love you. I'm crying out of happiness. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here. Grateful for my family. Grateful for uh, friends and food. Grateful for cats. Meow. <laughs> I love this. Okay. Thank you so much for sharing what you're grateful for today. Um, And we are so always grateful to hear that this channel is helping you guys a lot. So if that's the case, please feel free to share throughout the entire live today. If there was a moment, if there's anything that resonates with you guys, if there's any breakthroughs that's happening, if there's any new insights, new wisdom, new knowledge, new, um, you know, ideas or new things that you get to learn about yourself because of this live stream or because of this channel, simply please feel free to share. We love hearing some of this from you guys, because this really, really helps us get motivated and inspired even more to serve you guys. Cool. All right. So let's start with this. I'm curious to know, we have about a little less than three months left to 2021. And I know the last two years, it's been not the easiest year for a lot of people. So if you guys are here today, I want to congratulate you all because what a special time to be alive, to be healthy, to be able to connect, to continue going. I mean, we don't get to take any of this for granted, right? Like this is incredible. This is incredible. (laughs) You're already at 2021. We made it through the other side, you guys. Yes, yes, yes. And here's the thing. We made it through and... This no longer has to be just about survival. So there's two different kinds of energies that we can always live in. There's the survival energy where we're living in fear, we're living in anxiety, we're living in trying to move away from the fear, trying to move away from the pain. And then there's another way to live, which is really living towards abundance, living towards possibilities, living towards creative new solutions, new new ideas, new visions, new goals. Can you see which one would be better for us to live in? Which one would be more enjoyable to live in? Is it moving away from fear? Is it moving away from pain all the time? Or is it moving towards a goal and a vision? 
So I can tell you from my own experience and, you know, many, many people I've helped in the last couple years, when we get to focus on what we're creating, we get to focus on our vision and our goals. It just becomes a little bit more or massively more energizing. It becomes fun. That journey gets to be fun and we're not riddled in fear and anxiety, which, you know, a lot of us may have gone through in the last year. And if you did, that's okay too. That is okay too. However, let's shift that today. Are you guys open to shift that energy today as you listen to this right now, right here with hundreds of other people who are also committed to living in that different energy, moving towards moving towards a goal, moving towards a vision, moving towards something that we get to be excited about. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, look at all of the support that we are getting with all the comments, all the feedback that we're getting from all over. This is beautiful. Crying. Oh, moving away from fear and anxiety, moving towards happiness. Yes. So share with me, a, you know, one thing, and this is all about realizing that we can direct and drive our focus and our energy towards something that we want to. Tell me about a moment in the last year, say in 2021, where you were so happy. Just one moment, or you were so deeply grateful, or you were just so in joy, you were in bliss. Can you share one moment? Like, and if it takes a moment to think about this, that's okay. Take a moment to think about a time that was really good. There's not even one. Mm. There has to be at least one moment. And maybe if it hasn't happened yet, this gets to be now. Let's take a moment right here. I'm going to play some music. And think about a moment that was really inspiring or you felt even that jolt of joy or happiness, that peace, when you met your crush. I love that. When you camped when you saw your puppy for the first time, when you were inspired by one of the videos that we posted, thank you. You got the job that you were looking for. I'm really happy for that. Extremely grateful that I got to perform after kiss. What? That's awesome. I love you guys. I love you guys too. Um, ah, when I was realizing that I was finally done with my depression, that is beautiful. I am currently happy. That is incredible. Your trip to Yosemite. Yes, yes. And here's the thing. Even when we get into this state of feeling down, we have a hard time remembering that there were actually a lot of good moments. So this is right now we get to tune into that frequency of happiness and joy and really tap into that gratitude of those moments that did exist. I promise it existed this year when you felt that oh, yeah i'm happy right now and maybe it wasn't forever maybe it wasn't even for five minutes maybe it wasn't even for an hour or a day or maybe it was but tap into that moment where you felt really good and this is just a reminder for us that there are those moments and that we can always tune back into the, that energy whenever we want. Playing with your friends after quarantine. Oh my gosh, me too. Hugging my mom after I was quarantined in Korea for 14 days. That was really special for me. Seeing my grandparents. My grandpa just passed away a couple days ago. And I'm so grateful that I got to spend so much time with them in the last year. These moments are so special and there's so many moments like this in our life and we forget to honor them and just really sit with it and really cherish it and really be grateful for it. Your sister makes you happy. And how many of you guys are feeling better just hearing about all these beautiful moments that people had throughout the year? Yeah. 
uh, when my friend's dad died and we took her to the bar, we ended up having and having fun. It was such a good feeling because we made her happy. That's beautiful. It's the power of community. So, yeah. So today, really anchoring into that happiness and or setting our intention to have more of those moments for the rest of the year. Let's think about this past year. And I invite you, if you would like, wow, your brother saved your life. That's incredible. We're so happy you're here and you're alive. Think about this. I mean, I know 2020 was a very interesting year. A lot of you guys actually joined me for my 2020 January live stream where we had some really powerful questions that we get to ask ourselves to continue to cultivate that mindset. Think about some of the goals or visions or dreams that you had for this year. What were those for you? Take a moment to really reminisce. Like, what were those goals that I set for this year? How many of those have been achieved already, felt already? And how many of those still get to be you know, set. How many of those do we still get to continue to cultivate for the rest of the year? The cool thing is we still have three months. There's plenty of time to turn it around or amplify what's already going well. Yeah. So yeah, let's think about that for now. What are some things that you set as goals for this year? Share with us a little bit. What are some goals that you have for this year, whether you've already achieved them or not? Let's take a moment right now. For me, I wanted to travel. I wanted to see more of the world. I wanted to connect more with my family. I wanted to be an author, which I became an author this year. And I have another book coming out. It's called Creating Your Own Happiness. So that's coming out soon. Um, the book that was published as a co-author, it's called 13 Steps to Riches. It's about abundance and having that abundant mindset based on um, the concepts from Think and Grow Rich. Some of these goals I achieved, some of them was to be here more with you guys so that I can connect and support and love on you guys and you know expand this mission of making mental health and powerful mindset a priority for a lot of people. So... Now, what are some of those goals? Wow, look at all of these beautiful goals and dreams that you guys have had to learn programming, being a better version of yourself. And if you're here today, I believe that you're already on that path because this is what we're about, right? You started journaling, started your art, Hugging everyone in the room. I love it. More peaceful version of yourself. Beautiful. To see a better me and a better world. Wow, that's really beautiful. To love yourself more. I love that. Drink more water. Yeah. So all of these big to little goals. To be more confident. To study and become a doctor. This is so beautiful. So let's think about some of these goals that you guys have set for this year and think about a few that you've already achieved and what are some goals that you still get to achieve for the rest of the year? What do you guys want to intentionalize for the rest of the year to be a YouTuber? Okay, that's totally doable. It takes one moment for you to become a YouTuber. You get to post your first YouTube video. It is that simple to get started. To being yourself, beating OCD. Oh, you can't do That's not true. Learning to take over the world. <laughs> okay, to keep your promises. And here's the thing. You guys all have an opportunity right now to tap into that energy where you get to end this year powerfully strong, to become a top businesswoman. I love that, Karina. To just have fun and love yourself. I love that. I love that intention as well. 
So if you guys have a piece of paper right now, or if you have like your notes section out on your computer, take a moment right now to list three things that you get to intentionalize as your goals for the rest of the year. This kind of transformation is in the doing. I invite you guys to actually partake in this exercise if you have a moment, because when you start to physically write down your goals, something happens. You start to take your thoughts into a piece of paper. You're physically manifesting some of these goals onto the physical reality now. So it becomes more real for you. It's something that you can look at every day. It's something that you can refer back to. So I invite you to write down three goals that you want to focus on for the rest of the year. This is just kind of like a reset. What are those three goals that you get to intentionalize for the rest of the year? For me, one is to publish my book called Creating Your Own Happiness. And to do more lives here so I can connect with you guys more. And to reach 10,000 subscribers in my own YouTube channel this year. So if you guys want to support me, that would be wonderful as well. And also let me know how I can support you. So share with us. You get to declare right now in the chat. Now, there, it's one thing to write it down on a piece of paper. It's a whole nother experience for you to declare to the world. Even if you don't know everyone here, you get to declare to uh, you know over 500 people right now who's watching and say, this is what I'm declaring. This is almost like a mini contract you're creating for yourself and to the universe and saying, this is what I'm committed to. So share with us, what are you committed to for the rest of the year? Being kind. I took the notes. I love it. You want to meet BTS? Okay, you can manifest that. To improve your drawings, to see more beautiful parts in the world, to getting better at fighting games. Awesome. Health as well. Being kind to others. I love this, you guys. So whatever your goals are, think about what is the way of being that's going to help you get there. So for me, and I think for a lot of us, we get to be an action taker. We get to be in integrity with our words. We get to be disciplined. We get to love ourselves. We get to be confident. We get to trust ourselves. We get to be creative. Whatever the ways of being that's going to help you get to those three goals, think about that and share in the chat. How do you get to be so that you can heal yourself? Or if your goal was to get better grades, what, what is the way of being how do you get to be in this world so that you can actually achieve that for the rest of the year? Is it being motivated? Is it being um, activated? Is it being committed? What is the way of being? Changing your life? Being in a constant learning energy. I love that. Understand those around, you want to make music beautiful, be a better person and think positive, find everything I want to get and all my wishes come true, being more self-aware, beautiful, to love myself, changing what I think about life. Oh, these are such life-giving words and thoughts and ideas and energy. And you guys are creating this here right now together with me. Yes, to drink water as soon as possible, to be a good person, to be self-aware and mindful. I love that. Can you guys feel this energy shifting right now as we talk about this? We had, we were just kind of going through life, going through the year. And then we sat down together. We took three deep breaths and we said, wow, let's reflect on the last nine months together. Let's reflect what are some goals I set for the year? What are some intentions I set for the year? And like just really being mindful and reflective in this particular moment, that itself is already shifting us. And now we get to say, okay, what are our goals? What are our goals that we can reset 
for the rest of the year. The year isn't over yet. You have all the possibilities in the world right now until the rest of the year to create what it is that you want. And this is true every single day. When we talk about mindset, it's not something that happens for a second and then it changes us forever. It's something that we do get to commit to every single day. So for example, when I first started my coaching practice four years ago, there's a lot of things that I didn't think was possible, like traveling the world while I work, um, being in front of all you amazing people, millions of amazing people, getting to share my deepest ideas and thoughts and knowledge and wisdom and impacting you guys. Um, being able to be an author, being able to be a speaker. These are all dreams that felt so out of this world, like so not real to me. But I was so committed that I started to read my goals and visions every single morning. So my invitation for you guys is read your goals every single morning. And then the ways of being, the ways of being that you get to be so that you can actually achieve those goals because your goals is kind of like the outcome. The ways of being that you get to access right now and for the rest of the year is the engine. It's the engine that's going to get you there. To write your book, Claudia, oh my gosh, let's do it. You can totally do this. To be stronger, to be humble and happy, to be in love and to be in peace with myself. Marcelo, that's so beautiful. Make your parents happy and feel proud of me. These are such beautiful goals. Now, I'm going to share some affirmations with you guys. That's going to help you guys get there, even more fuel to that engine that you just created. And though, for one second, I invite you guys to go into this very short meditation with me. A lot of you guys said you want to be more self-aware. You want to be more mindful. You want to be kind and loving and compassionate, all these things. You want to be better. I am telling you, meditation is something that will help all of those things. So if you've never done a meditation before, I invite you to try it with me right now. And let's just get connected to our breath, to ourselves for a little bit. And this is going to help us actually get to our goals. And we're going to start by envisioning what that looks like. So go ahead and get grounded wherever you are. So if you're sitting down, go ahead and plant both your feet onto the floor, onto the earth, letting that powerful energy from the earth support you, energize you, inspire you, support you and hold you and nurture you and feel that energy coming through your feet, up to your legs, up to your butt, up to your torso, up to your chest, to your heart and to your head. You feel that energy. Take a deep inhale. And as you inhale, Notice that you can extend your spine here and sit up even more straight as if you're like growing like a tree and exhale everything out. Another deep, deep inhale. Extend your spine as if something's pulling you from the top and there's a string that's just extending your spine. You're growing taller and exhale everything out. Another deep, deep inhale. And exhale, gratitude out to the world. From this space, follow my voice, close your eyes, and just be here with me for a second as we envision a date ahead of us, December 31st, 2021. You are ending this year and you have worked so hard in the last three months that you were able to accomplish some of these goals that you really put off for a while until that day in October when you did this meditation and you realized that all the goals that you set for the rest of the year you can actually still achieve. And you got so 
deeply activated and excited and really connect to that how grateful you feel to have accomplished these goals that you set for yourself whether it's to be more aware whether it's to learn a language whether it's to produce more art to produce more videos on youtube to study more and become a doctor all of those beautiful goals that you set for the rest of the year. And imagine for a second that it is December 31st right now, 2021, and you can't believe it. You're exploding with gratitude that you actually shifted your energy so much, shifted the way that you were looking at the year so much, or you amplified what was already working with you so much that you were able to accomplish these goals. How good does it feel? How proud do you get to be about yourself? Where do you feel that warmth and the fire, knowing that if you can do this, you can do so much more too? And what's present for you right now because of that shift? Are you in love with your life even more? Have you started a new business? Maybe you're holding a book that you wrote and published. Maybe you're looking at all these new friends that you manifested. Maybe you learned a new language and you're speaking, or maybe you're thinking in that language. Maybe you are able to play a new instrument, whatever it is, like really connect to being able to do that one thing that you set an intention for already and see how good it feels to have already accomplished that. Maybe it was to travel and you just got back from your travel and you're feeling so good. Let that make you smile. Let that make your body feel light. Let that feel really good in your heart, in your head, in your stomach. As you feel this level of relaxation and fulfillment in your body that you've not felt in a long time and it feels so good. Ooh, that feels amazing. Who's proud of you right now? Who's looking at you and saying, wow, I can't believe you did that in the last three months. I can't believe you ended 2021 like this. That's incredible. Maybe you're looking at your grade report and you have all the grades that you wanted. Maybe you're looking at your own YouTube channel that you started three months ago. These are all possible for you. So when you have connected to that joy, to that gratitude, to that yummy, delicious feeling in your body, and also knowing that there's hundreds of people from all around the world that's on this right now, in this moment, doing this with you, we are literally taking a moment right now to increase our vibe, our frequency that we are putting out into the world. There is this wave of positive energy because it's so potent. There's 500 of us doing this right now. And there's going to be tens of thousands of people who's going to watch this even more after. And all of that, this is creating a ripple effect. And you get to be a part of it. Because you have tapped into your future self that you have not created until now in your mind. And now this is even more of a possibility than it ever has been before. Do you feel that? Do you feel that shift that's happening in all parts of your limbs and your stomach, your heart opening? Maybe you just feel a little jolt of energy that you haven't felt in a long time. Maybe you get to smile for the first time in a long time. All of those are wins. Or maybe you're like so excited now, you're ready to like go take on this goal. Whatever that feels like, just really cherish that for a second. How good does that freaking feel? 
Now, when you have powerfully connected to that beautiful feeling, go ahead and slowly open your eyes with the smile on your face still. Take a moment to share with us how you feel right now as you have tapped into that future self. Do you feel that right now? Smiling and relaxed. Yes, 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 yes. I love that. Love is in the air. You're trembling in excitement. Ah, I love that. You feel happy. You feel thankful. This is something I called quantum leaping in my own coaching practice. Just by a simple meditation, you guys were able to access a certain state in your body that never was there before. Now you're starting to create this new possibility energetically that you've never accessed before. So this gets to be your reality now more and more. You feel so bubbly. I love it. You feel emotional. You feel a little more sad because I know I couldn't do that. You can. It takes practice. It's just like working out. You know, if this is the first time trying to meditate, oh my God, you should have seen me when I tried to meditate for the first time. It was super hard. The fact that you even stayed here and you're still here and you're conscious of the fact that you tried and it was hard, that is a huge win. Feel hopeful. You have faith. Yes, 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 yes. You feel calmer, emotional, proud, and motivated to take action. Isn't it so powerful that just in a few minutes, that was literally maybe three minutes of meditation, it shifted our energy so much that you guys are able to now take different actions. So cool, right? So now what I would like for you guys to do is take that energy of gratitude, motivation, all of the things that you were able to access just now. And I'm going to play a different song. So we've been playing super, you know, just calm songs. And now let's take a moment to get excited a little bit. Can you guys move your body a little bit and just like really connecting to that new possibility you just created in your mind and how excited and grateful you're going to be so that you can actually live that new reality that you just created. Yes, music. All right. Move your body a little bit. Oh, by the way, you guys, I just posted a video of me dancing in the middle of soul um, on my Instagram. I think dancing is one of the most healing thing in the world. So I invite you guys to play into these affirmations I'm about to share with you guys. So I'm giving you all the potent tools. All right. And say this out loud with me. I have prepared five really simple but powerful affirmations. Number one is I am an action taker. I am an action taker. Yes, thinking about these goals writing them down, this is all a great start. Having a beautiful energy connected to it is a really powerful start. And the gap between here and where you're headed, there's going to be some actions that you guys get to take that you haven't taken before. So let's affirm, I am an action taker. Yes, I'm an action taker. Woo! Number two. I am grateful and excited to become the best version of myself today. I am grateful and excited to become the best version of myself today. Woo! Number three. To that affirmation. Can you imagine waking up every morning and saying, I am so grateful and excited to become the best version of myself today? 
Yes, 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 yes. Number three, I feel loved and supported by the universe. I feel loved and supported by the universe. And my invitation is as you guys say this out loud, tune into that energy. What would that actually feel like if that were true right now for you? Just try it, just try it. Now, if you feel awkward, if you feel weird about saying this out loud, I totally get it. I used to feel that way all the time. But one day, you start to kind of get used to it. And then one day, you start to believe that maybe it's possible. And one day, you start to live that reality for like 10 minutes a day. And then one day, maybe an hour, and then maybe two hours. And then before you know it, it gets to be 24 hours a day. And before you know it, that's become your new reality. So this is a, a really powerful way to start to shift your deeper subconscious beliefs. And in Thinking Grow Rich um, by Napoleon Hill, this is something that they talk about, which is when we actually get to repeat these types of affirmations, we get to start to craft who we're becoming because this goes from your conscious part of your brain, your mind, into your subconscious, really shifting the way that you fundamentally think and view yourself in the world. So my invitation is to write these affirmations down, say them out loud every single morning, and start to notice that it powerfully starts to shift you. Number four, when I wake up in the morning, I am ex excited for the day, for the abundance of opportunities waiting for me. When I wake up in the morning, I am excited for the day, for the abundance of opportunities waiting for me. So this is a really powerful affirmation because you actually start to craft how you wake up, how you open your eyes. If you want to get more detailed, you can do that. You can even say, when I wake up and I, you know, when I jump out of my bed, I'm so excited for the day, for the abundance of opportunities waiting for me. Thank you. Thank you, Swedish car guy, <laughs> for highlighting that. Yes, yes, yes. When I wake up in the morning, I'm excited for the day of abundance of opportunities waiting for me. Doesn't that feel good to affirm right now? Yes, thank you, Claudia. Thank you, Dakota. You guys are amazing. All right. And number five, I'm excited for the magic the rest of the year will bring for me. I am so excited for the magic the rest of the year will bring for me. Oftentimes, anxiety or depression can come from thinking about that one worst case scenario that's a possible reality for us in the future. Now, every time we think about that possibility, what we're really doing is praying for that possibility. Even if it's not something that we want, we're simply giving it energy by thinking about it more. So by starting to craft these new ways of thinking about the rest of the year, you probably start to feel that excitement in your body. You start to start, you start to feel that activation in your heart, in your limbs, so that it starts to want to it wants to move towards your goals. It wants to do things differently. It wants to create different things in this world. Yes. Laws of attraction. You can call it laws of attraction. You can call it, I mean, it's also backed by neuroscience. I mean, there's so many different ways that we get to do this. However, one thing I can tell you is that it works. It works. You feel hopeful. You're excited for the rest of the year, the magic that will bring for you. Yes. <sighs> okay, you guys. So if you haven't said this out loud with me up until now, I invite you to try into this. Even if it's whispering to start today, let's start this. Number one. I am an action taker. I'm an action taker. Number two, I am grateful and excited to become the best version of myself today. Number three, I feel loved and supported by the universe. I feel loved and supported by the universe. 
Number four, when I wake up in the morning, I'm excited for the day, for the abundance of opportunities waiting for me. And number five, I'm excited for the magic rest of the year will bring. Ah, uh, Dakota, that's beautiful. I love that. You started feeling more confident since you started watching this channel. That's really powerful. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you so much for being here, you guys. Um, How was that for you? How are you feeling? Let me check in with you guys. How are you feeling right now? So we did a lot today. I am so proud of you guys for being here and really playing into this um, and trusting me. Thank you for trusting me to lead this workshop because, you know, we did a lot today. We got to reflect. We got to journal. We get to set some goals for the rest of the year. We got to meditate and really access that frequency that is available for us in the future. We got to create some affirmations to really support us and fuel that engine that's been created. We got to commit to a new way of being so that we can actually start to manifest these new goals and create these new goals and start to take action. Uh, you were having a rough morning until you started watching this. That's amazing. I love that. Oh, thank you. You can trust you. Oh, thank you so much. You guys, I'm so proud of every single one of you who stepped up and did something different today. Try something new today. That might have been a little weird. That might have been a little bit different. How many of you guys got to say you try something new today that you've never done before? That you've never done before? If so, let's say I rock. Like you, not me. I say I rock. <laughs> have you, what did you guys get to do that was different today? And here's the thing. Every single time we do something different, different outside of a comfort zone, it actually makes us more confident. It actually allows us to feel more confident about new things that we haven't even tried. Yes, 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 you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You rule. Yes, I love it. Well, thank you. So you guys, I'm so proud of every single one of you guys today for trying this on with me. And I feel so connected to all of you right now. I feel so excited, so grateful that I got to serve you guys for a second. Cheers from OC. Woo, what's up? <laughs> um. So I am so, so happy that we got to spend this time together. Was this helpful, you guys? What was most powerful for you guys today? We did a lot of different things. We did a lot of different things. And by the way, you guys, um, I'm a performance coach for entrepreneurs and um, high achievers. If you guys are entrepreneurs and high achievers and you actually want to um, have a community, a, co a coaching community to support you for the rest of the year, feel free to connect with me on either Instagram or email me. And I can share with you something that is coming up very soon. I'm going to be supporting about 15 to 20 different um, entrepreneurs and high achievers in a community so that they can really expand into something exciting. And I think it's going to be so much fun to do this for the rest of the year. So if that's something that you're interested in, feel free to email me. Um, and I'll share with you my email address here. And we are also going to be, um, yeah, doing a lot more. Um, you know, our intention is to serve this community as much as possible. Um, so I would love to hear from you guys. Was this helpful for you? And this kind of feedback really helps us really um, plan for the future, live streams, workshops, you know, complimentary and free workshops like this. So share with us what was most powerful for you today? What landed for you? What was most helpful? Please share with us. Ah, I love hearing that. So glad it was helpful. Yes, yes, yes. Amazing. Yes, yes, yes. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I love that. And if there's any, if there's anything that you guys would like for us to cover in the future, please take a moment once this is posted um, in the comments, share with us what, you know, share with us the questions or the topics that you would like for us to cover in these future live streams so that we can start to customize it for your needs and help you guys as much as possible. 
So again, please feel free to connect with me on Instagram. Feel free to email me um, if you guys are high achievers, entrepreneurs who are in need of support and community. I'm so excited to create this. And all of you guys, all of you guys, I'm so excited to serve all of you guys here as well as on my own YouTube channel. So feel free to connect with me there as well. So I love you guys so much. And let's end this by... Take someone in the chat right now and you can add it and say, say something really motivating. Say something really encouraging for that one person. Just choose one person from the chat. This is a community. You can choose multiple people and just tell them a piece of advice that you get to, you get to share. Hi, Blacks. Good to see you. Yeah, share, you know, at somebody right now and say, thank you. You can say, a, you know, encouraging word. To them. Let's do that right now. And let's end this and create this community right here. Ah, that is so sweet. You guys, I love this. Ah, this is so great. <laughs> In general, you are all wonderful. And did you guys think that today you would hop on here and send encouraging messages to a new friend across the world. Isn't this so cool? Isn't this amazing? And if there's anyone that you feel like in the chat, they need extra love, like let's like just pour them with more love. You are all amazing. Yes. These are really powerful um, advice, you guys. I love it. Chase Burdick, I hope you reach your goals. How sweet. Thank you. You're going to crush those goals and feel amazing. <laughs> I love this. You're amazing. I don't know you, but I can tell. I hope things get better and you find happiness. I love that. Wow, you guys are all incredible. So much love here. My heart is absolutely more full just by connecting with you guys. It's an honor to be here. Share in the comments, even after this chat is over, you know, what was most helpful for you? What did you get out of this? What are you committed to? And if you have any questions for us or topic ideas for us, feel free to share below. We are so honored to be here. We love you guys so much. On behalf of Psych2Go and the team, I just want to let you guys know this channel would not be here if it weren't you guys. We are so deeply grateful for every single one of you. And thank you for continuing to support us. Please share these videos, whether it's this one or a different one, with other people who can be supported as well. We want to get the, you know, we want to get the support out there to as many people as possible. So, all right, you guys. Other than that, I love you guys so much. So grateful for all of you. I hope you guys have the best rest of the week, rest of the year. I'm going to be back here, obviously, before the rest of the year. But I hope you guys have a beautiful week, beautiful month, and share with us. Continue to update us how you're doing with your goals in this you know, chat below. Feel free to drop in and share with us. We'd love to hear from you. Cool? All right, you guys. Have a beautiful day, and I will see you guys in a couple weeks. Bye, y'all. I'm going to start, I'm going to continue to share some of these. Mm. Bye. Oh, Alejandro, that's so amazing. Let's definitely um, connect in the future. We'd love to see how these goals turn out for you. Thank you for giving me the ability to make you feel good. Aww. Love you guys.